Hello, welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Dominic Calvert-Lewin has today been linked with a move to Newcastle United. Uh, West Ham also apparently interested as well. Newcastle, though, are reportedly interested in matching him and Jarrod Bowen together uh, up at St James's Park next season. Dominic Calvert-Lewin is, of course, got or has, of course, got 13 months left on his current deal. He finished as Everton's top scorer this season with seven Premier League goals, along with Adelaide Corey. Uh, Everton, not sure what what the position is with them. There was talk of a new contract being offered to him. We haven't had any more since then. And obviously, the way the club is at the minute, we just don't know where we stand in terms of bringing players in, offering new contracts. Uh, we know that there's a lot of talk about players going out the door, so we're just going to have to uh, watch this space. But, um, yeah, Newcastle interested in Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Uh, one player who may well be on his way out, but only on loan, is young centre-back Rhys Welsh. Uh, Dutch side he, uh, SC Heerenveen are very interested in taking him on loan. Another couple of Dutch sides monitoring the situation as well. Um, Welsh, highly rated young centre-back, but has suffered with injuries. Went, of course, to um, Forest Green, got injured and come back. So uh, Everton will be hoping he can go off to Holland and have a successful, um, successful loan deal as what Jared Brantwaite did when he went off to PSV. Uh, Miami-based Triple Seven Partners, who agreed to purchase uh, Everton from current owner Farab Mashiri. Um, they, according to reports today in Belgium via the outlet Le Avenir, have engaged investment bank Mollus to oversee the sale process for Standard Liège. They have been heavily criticised in Belgium for their running of Standard Liège. Uh, the game bus was stopped from going to a recent game against Westerlo in protest to Triple Seven's ownership and now it looks as though they are ready to sell their interest in Standard Liège. We still haven't heard any more about what's happening regarding Everton. Farad Mashiri has apparently got a deadline in place with Triple Seven for next Friday, the 31st of May. That is uh, if it is to continue, but we haven't heard anything to the contrary at the moment. So we'll have to just keep an eye out for uh, what happens there. Everybody very interested and, well, desperate to know what the next step is regarding Everton. Um, and finally, Everton are in talks with the representatives of young striker Omari Benjamin. The 18-year-old forward confirmed he is leaving Arsenal this summer. Uh, Benjamin joined Everton on trial earlier this season and scored uh, against Tottenham Hotspur for Everton under-21. So he is highly rated. And we'll have to wait and see whether or not Everton do sign him. But um, he's already been here and I think Everton liked what they saw. So Omari Benjamin may well be joining the Toffees. And really, finally, uh, former Everton player Dan Gosling has today announced his retirement from football at the age of 34. And he's taken up a coaching role at Watford Gosling famously once scored the winner in a Merseyside derby FA Cup replay at Goodison Park in the last minute of extra time to uh, to knock the uh, the Coppites out of the FA Cup which was uh, probably the highlight of his career at Everton Football Club that is it for the news daily make sure you give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and if you want to become a Toffee TV Premier member the link is in the description the QR code is on the screen now thank you very much see you later